Statistics presents information that helps us make sense of the world around us. By understanding statistics, we can collect data, categorize and organize information, test our observations, and make informed choices. One definition of statistics is the collection, organization, and analysis of data. A thorough knowledge of statistics allows us to plan conferences, analyze corporate processes, visualize trends, and set goals. Terms like probability, correlation, and outliers are common in everyday language. First, you must ask, what phenomenon do you want to explain, understand, or test? In collecting the data, you want to know the population or the largest group you are studying. Sometimes the members of the population number in the thousands or even millions, or are remote and unreachable. So we collect a subset, a smaller set of the population called the sample. In order to organize the information, we use the measures of central tendency. That's the mean, or the average, the median, the middle number, or the mode, the most frequently occurring score. Another thing we might want to look at in terms of how to organize the information is how far is the data dispersed? What are the me measures of variability or dispersion, like the range, variance, or standard deviation? When we look at data, we may want to see how far some of the data is from the middle, and then decide if the distance is significantly different. For example, if I tell you that the average class size of this statistics class is 30 students, then 31 or 32 students is close, or close enough. But what if your class has 45 students? Is that difference significantly different from the mean? We can look at a normal curve or do a hypothesis test to test this. I don't want you to be bogged down with the complexity of terms for now, but until you learn more, it's important that you get a glimpse of the big picture. The cool thing about statistics is that you can apply statistics to real life examples, such as in psychology. If you're a therapist, you see hundreds of patients each year. Each patient comes in with his or her own unique characteristics. What statistics can do is help you implement an appropriate intervention for each patient. An introduction to statistics class also covers regression and correlation. Correlation is the relationship between two variables. For example, if you run five miles each day, do you expect your weight will go up or down? Probably down unless you eat a ton of unhealthy food. This is an example of a negative correlation. When you increase one variable, the other one goes down. On the other hand, if you eat bags of candy each day, do you expect your weight to go up or down? Well, probably up. This is an example of a positive correlation. The more candy you eat, the more you weigh. This introductory course will give you the basis for your further exploration into the understanding of data you will encounter in your work and in your life.